I think that the Anui uh, DVD box set is, is unique in as that um, you, you've got three DVDs and each one of them uh, covers a different aspect of Anui's excellence. Um, you've got his Uchimata, which is obviously, um, you know, we know that he's the best Uchimata person in the world, um, probably ever. But, um, you know, that's always disputable. But, I mean, um, we know how brilliant he is at it. You know, his Ochigari, which he scores numerous uh, Ippons with, um, you know, and how he links that to his Uchimata, um, you know, and uh, how he succeeded with that at world level at the very top. And... Um, then of course it covers um, the other one covers the kumakata and how he set them up you know all the different styles and that he had to contend with left against right right against left and uh, you know how he set these uh, these people up in order to throw for rip on you know and i think that that's the main uh, the main thing about inui is that he was such a dynamic he's such a dynamic judo player and um, you know all he was looking for was the ippon that was his main point and um, you know uh, the other good thing about the DVDs is that not only does he break it down and and show us how to do these things uh, in minute detail but then he kind of puts it all back together again and and then we see him you know actually doing it in you know the heat of the contest and uh, at the top competitions uh, in the world at the Olympic Games at the All Japan Championships and um, you know he was throwing former world champions current world champions with the techniques that he's actually demonstrating so everything that he demonstrates is is you know and as we know proven to, to work and um, uh, so we can all get something out of it you know all the coaches can get something out of it the players can get something out of it and um, I think it's a must for everybody so you think it appeals to every level? I mean, does it? Uh, you as a judoka, are there things that even you can take from it, having been a man in judo for? Such I, a long you know, time? I always say that um, you, you never stop learning, and um, you know, I, I've been doing judo just over forty years, and and I'm still learning now. You know, so um, the funny thing is, is that a lot of the things that uh, you know Anui has covered um, with his right against left, his left against right, and you know, is um, uh, holding on the same side while he's uh, uh, doing the technique and. Um, and the reasons why, which is the important thing, um, were things that uh, a lot of other world champions have covered as well, but they just come in from a slightly different angle or they've got a different approach. And his approach um, is is unique, you know, for Anui, and um, it, that's what makes him a very, very special uh, judoka. Yeah, and as, as a package, you know, as a, uh, as a piece of entertainment, what do you think of it from that side of things? Well, I think, that, you know, as a piece of entertainment, we all like to see the whole idea of, uh, of judo uh, as with, you know, uh, scoring a goal in football it is is to score an ip on and as dynamically as we can possibly do it, you know. And, um, you know, there's nobody that does it better than Anui. You know, he's um, he scores uh, with numerous techniques. Uh, you know, they always land flat on the backs or mostly always anyway. And, um, and it's beautiful to watch. And I think that that's the nice thing about, you know, traditional style. Um, Japanese judo and Inua's judo it's very traditional and uh, it's it's everything that I believe is you know judo should have within it you know and um, I, I really believe that uh, Inua is one of the greatest mm. yeah okay and as a coaching tool you really think everyone at every level even if you're just starting judo you can take things from this DVD I think you can I mean I, I think that once people know some of the basics and fundamentals anyway you know then it's important that they know how uh, to use this one particular tool which is the judo jacket you know and I think it's really important that if we're kind of demonstrating anything you know uh, you know to do with judo then we have to know where to hold on the judo jacket and how to hold it and uh, and then you know what comes from it you know and uh, I think that that's a really important point yeah great and um, what about um, the interview in there I mean Inui talks for a long period of time in the interview what do you think about, about that? I think it's nice you know everybody knows Inui as a judo player not a lot of people know him um, as a person you know and I, I think that that surprises a lot of people when uh, somebody gets interviewed and you know and you realize that they are human and uh, that uh, the human side comes out. And um, so I think it'll be really nice for people just to get to know Anui uh, on a personal basis. And uh, I, I know that he gets pretty personal within the interview. And, you know, I think people are like that. The nice thing about the Uchimata DVD, well, with all the DVDs, is that, um, you know, from a coaching perspective, uh, I always like to think of, uh, of, of teaching kind of whole part 
and then whole you know so we see the how it should be done and then we break it down into bits and and we have a look at the 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 small bits that make up the technique and then you know at the end he puts it all back together again and shows us what it's like in a competition situation you know so i think that 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 is a nice thing you know certainly from a coaching perspective as well um you know that that he does you know there are the small bits what what he does with his hands and his head direction which you know it plays a big part in his throwing techniques and then um, and also direction hand as well, which plays massive part, you know, whether he's going for the Ochigari or he's going for the Uchimata or the Osoto or the Sienagi, you know, but this direction hand of his is very, very important, you know, so it's got a bit for everybody. It breaks it down and then it puts it all back together and then we see how it should be done. So, uh, Neil, tell us about um, Inui, the Uchimata DVD. Well, I think, you know, obviously he's a specialist at Uchimata. And uh, I think the nice thing about this uh, DVD is that, um, you know, he's got eight different types of, of Uchimata within the DVD, you know, which is eight different ways that he does it, basically. I mean, there might be 60 different ways, but he does it eight different ways, which is quite remarkable in its own way anyway. And, um, you know, he's coming in from different angles against different styles, against different, you know, left against right, right against left. And uh, I think that um, it, it's a fantastic uh, tool to see uh, it performed at a high level, you know, against such a variety of, of different things that can happen, you know, to stop him. And uh, I think what he's done is adapted to it and, um, you know, he's given us the benefit of his experience and how he does it. So, Neil, tell us about Inui the judoka. Well, I, I think... Good judo men uh, always have good combinations. They always have uh, different ways in, and you know, uh, obviously, people get to know their their big techniques. You know, especially if they're very very good at them. So, and uh, you know, certainly with Anui, I mean, uh, people started to kind of learn how to avoid certain times. You know, with the Uchimata, and so he looked for different things. You know, in in order to uh, open up his opponents, in order to get in for his favorite technique. So he was always searching for the you know the ultimate which was his Uchimata but then he started to introduce his Ochigari and then of course his grip fighting his Kumakata all right was a big part of that because that gave him the way in as well so I think that um, you know it, if we have a, a purpose something that we're aiming for and you know I know that they're like for me it was specific techniques that I was aiming for I think with Anui he was aiming for a specific thing and then he learned different ways in in order to break his opponent's balance in order to to get through Kumakata to get through stance, past stance, and um, you know, and uh, in the end, you know, everything was aimed for that one thing, the the perfect Uchimata. Okay, so tell us about the the final DVD, Inui the Samurai. I think that every uh, every great judoka, the reason they're great is because they've always got so another place to go. You know, so if somebody kind of blocks them in in one place, then you know they go in another direction and then if somebody blocks them there then they go off in another direction and i think the thing is is that inui is always going to be remembered for his his fantastic uchimata his ouchi into the uchimata and you know also um his sienagi which was beautiful you know and uh, but also he scored a lot of ippons with other techniques as well you know so that if he had to and he, he was called upon changing complete direction then he he could do that as well you know so he could use haragashi and he could use also Gary, and he could he could uh, work on the ground as well he got one shimmy was it but he you know as he states he, he, he trained it and he worked it and um, uh, a little bit a little bit like the great Yamashita you know he had one major technique on the ground he perfected it and you know if all failed all else failed then he'd um, resort to that you know anything to get the ip on at the end of the day that's the most important thing you know to get the ip on <laughs>